In this video, I'm gonna show you how I use my joiner to create tapers on some table legs. Hey everybody, welcome back. Jason with Bents Woodworking. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I do bi-weekly videos sharing tips and tricks and product overviews all in an effort to make you a better woodworker. This week, I wanna show you a brand new technique to me that I just used on my current build, which is a walnut dining room table. I decided to go with a slightly more modern look for this dining room table, which is why I decided I was gonna put a taper on two sides of the legs. After talking with my good friend, Jeremy, he explained to me that they had just used a joiner to create tapers for the legs of a ping pong table that they were building. So when he told me that, of course I jumped on YouTube, tried to find any information that I could, and I did find an older video explaining the steps, which I will leave a link down below if you guys wanna check that video out as well. If I'm being totally honest, I was very nervous the first time I tried this, but the results came out fantastic, and I really just wanna share that information with you and show you just how easy the steps are. And obviously this is not the only way to create tapers. There's many ways that you can create tapers. I'm just gonna share this one technique with you just so you guys can see really how easy it is and how clean they come out. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and cover a couple of things that you're gonna see in this video. So obviously the first one is the jointer itself because I'm showing you how to do the tapers on the jointer. The jointer that I use is the Powermatic eight inch helical head jointer. Here I've just got a piece of three quarter inch MDF which I'll be using for my tusk cut, which you'll see here shortly. And for the purposes of this video, I made this mock leg using a couple scrap pieces of walnut that I had. It is two and a half by two and a half inches and we will be creating a three quarter inch taper on two sides. Before we do anything in the joiner, I'm gonna show you exactly what you have to do to lay out your leg. So this leg right here is 19 inches in total length. And for this video, we're gonna start the taper three inches down from the top. Remember, we're gonna take off three quarters of an inch. So it's currently two and a half inches at the top and down at the bottom, it will be one and three quarter inches. So the first thing I'm gonna mark is where my taper is going to begin. In this case, three inches down from the top. Since that was three inches from the top, I know that I'm gonna have 16 inches to work with. So the next big important step is to determine the center of that next number. So 19 inches total, take off three inches, that's where your taper is gonna start. That leaves me 16 inches. So I know the midway point is at eight inches. Once I've identified where my midpoint is, I'm gonna go ahead and mark a line all the way across the board. And I'm going to repeat that on the next three sides. The reason I'm doing this is because this line is going to be used for reference on where I need to stop my first cut, which you'll see shortly once we move over to the jointer. I did mention earlier that this is my test piece. And what I've done with this test piece is I've drawn a line at three eighths of an inch from the bottom. Why am I doing three eighths of an inch? Because when we do these tapers on the joiner, it's gonna be made in two passes. Each pass is going to take three eighths of an inch off. We wanna do a three quarter inch taper. So you take three quarter of an inch, split that in half, that leaves you with three eighths. And this will all make more sense once you actually see it go through the process. First thing that we need to do is adjust the depth of cut. And depending on the jointer that you have, it may be limited to a certain depth. For instance, mine is limited to one eighth of an inch. However, there is a knob on the back side that will allow me to cut as deep as half inch. To change it, I'm just going to release the lock on the bed, make sure that I pull out the knob on the back to allow me to go past one eighth of an inch. And then I'm gonna go right to three eighths, maybe just a little bit shy, and that's to allow you to walk up on that line when you're cutting your test piece just to make sure you get exactly three eighths of an inch. Just to be clear, for this video and this video only, I have removed the guard now that I'm getting ready to show you the demonstration. I am in no way recommending that you remove the guard on your jointer. I just want you guys to be able to see very clearly what is actually happening. Now, before I make my first test cut to ensure that the height is correct, something that we have to determine is where does this start to cut the board? And wherever that is, I'm going to scribe a line 
on the fence itself, and that line is gonna be my reference line to stop on my first cut when I do my tapers. The way we're gonna figure this out is I'm gonna turn on my machine, I'm gonna slowly move this forward until I just hear it start to tick as it's making the cut. I'm going to stop the board there, shut the machine off, wait till it stops, mark my line, and then we'll be good to go ahead and make our test cut. Okay, so this is where I'm going to mark the edge of my board. And one other thing that I'd like to point out is this is a tall piece. And the reason I like to use a tall piece for my test is because it allows me to scribe that line all the way to the top of the fence. You're probably saying, well, why don't I just mark it in one little spot and then use a ruler or a straight edge? Well, the, the issue with that is, is that you have ridges at the top and the beds are not even at this point. So trying to get a square on there just makes it more difficult, so this is just a much easier way to get that line where it needs to be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a test cut just to ensure that the depth that I have is correct. I am not worried about stopping at any point. I am simply seeing if I am at that line for 3 8 of an inch. <laughs> As you can see here, we got the depth dialed in just right and I'm comfortable with that and I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you how to do the tapers on the legs themselves. The first end that we're gonna cut is going to be what the bottom essentially will be. So this is gonna end up being the bottom of the leg and then here I have my mark that is three inches down from what would be the top of the leg. I do have my lines that are scribed on each side. These lines right here will be used to reference this line here, meaning when this line hits this line, that's when I'm gonna stop the cut for that section. Once I do my first cut, I'm going to turn it, create the exact same cut the exact same way till this line reaches this line. As you saw, I went ahead and made my first two cuts. So there's one, and here's two. And I just wanna highlight, before on that test piece, we started, or we marked that line where the cut just started. Therefore, it's going to stop cutting right where this line intersects, which is why you see this ridge come to this perfect point on that line. Now I'm gonna show you the steps to get that second cut to give you a total of 3 eighths of an inch. And here's why it does it. So if I take this board and I'm gonna flip it around just like this, what I'm going to be doing is actually applying pressure in the back, raising up this front section to allow the first three inches to clear the blades before it starts making the cut. As it goes down, obviously, it's going to continue to take out material to include an additional 3 8 of an inch down at the bottom, giving one solid taper all the way down. So there's nothing left to do but to make the cut itself.
and just like that, we have a really nice tapered leg on two sides, starting off at two and a half. My taper starts right here where this line is, comes down to a nice point down here at the bottom, which we took three quarters of an inch off the entire leg. Turn it this way. Here's the other taper, straight edge, straight edge, and this would make a wonderful table leg. So I'll bring it a little closer just so you guys can see. I have my taper starting right here. It's a really, really, really clean, beautiful cut all the way down to the bottom. And on this portion here as well, there you can very visibly see where the taper starts all the way down, nice and even all the way around. Like I stated before, this was not a technique that I came up with by any means, and people have been doing this for a long time. I just wanted to share my experience with you and really show you just how easy it is and the really amazing quality that you can get out of it. I encourage all of you to try new things. The first time I ever tried that was on the dining room table that I'm currently building, and it is a technique that I know I will use a lot in the future. Hopefully you found the information useful in this video, and it's a technique that you might try moving forward. The way that we learn is by trying new things, and this is just another perfect example of that. As in all my videos, I will leave affiliate links to any of the tools that I used or featured in this video should you wanna find out more information about them and or purchase them for yourself. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Or if you're not following me on Instagram, head over there and follow me at Bents Woodworking. You'll get to see what I'm doing on a daily basis. And if you ever have any questions, you can shoot me a DM and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, get in the shop and try something new. I'll see you all in the next video.